My steed! Bring me my steed! <laughs> what are you doing there? I am your steed, your majesty. No, I mean with your hands. Oh, oh, I am clapping them to sound like horses' hooves, your majesty. <laughs> well, they sound nothing like horses' hooves. They sound like two hands clapping. Would you rather I clapped one hand, my leash? Well, I don't know. What what does that sound like? What happened to the coconuts? I threw them out, Your Majesty. You threw them out? They went bad. Well, they wouldn't get better? Unlikely. Didn't know coconuts went bad. Indeed, Your Majesty. They were overripe. But can we get new ones? Uh, not at this time of year, Your Majesty. Well, what time of year can we get them? Uh, well, considering the impact of climate change and the rising temperatures of the ocean, hurricane and tropical storms have increased in wind velocity that coincide directly with the flight path of the African swallow. It's highly unlikely that burdened with the full weight of a fully ripe coconut that the swallow could make the journey at any time of year. Um, well, what about the European swallow? They're on holiday in Spain. Oh. And they still have that dreadful inquisition going on. Ooh. So you're telling me that an African swallow laden with a five pound coconut. Three, three, pounds. That? three pounds. Oh, very well. So an African swallow laden with a three pound coconut can no longer traverse the ocean due to some small change in the wind? and a variance of ocean degrees rising. Yes, your majesty. Very good. How much of a variance? Oh, uh, point eight, three, 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 well, we can't very well journey across the lands just clapping our hands, can we? You wouldn't be clapping, Your Majesty. I would be. And I would be pleased to clap my hands. I have been practicing. Would you like to see? Oh, very well. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You're right. Right? A trot. A canter. A gallop and a leap. Ta -da. No, it's all wrong. It won't do. We need the coconuts. You're absolutely sure about the swallows. Positively. Very well then. There's only one answer. Merlin. Oh. What? Ah, old man. I require advice. Uh, don't eat seafood while you're landlocked. No, I need advice on something else. Poof. Um, uh, don't gamble anything that you're not willing to give away. Poof. No, oh, well, that's very good advice, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Poof. Hmm. I, I need something a little more specific, you see, and, and I'm not quite sure how to bring up the topic, but you being such a wise man, I'll just come yeah. out and say it. I need to replace my. Yes, she's sleeping coconuts. with Lancelot. Wait, hmm? what? what? Who? Your coconuts? Who are you talking about? Uh, oh, no one. Just uh, some watery tart that uh, Lance met on a quest. <laughs> Your coconuts, you say? Indeed. My Indeed. servant here tells me the coconuts have all spoiled. Oh, well, fly some new ones in. Goodbye. 
The European swallows are all on holiday. And the African ones? Something about the rising temperature of the ocean and an increase in wind velocity. Uh, they can no longer carry a five pound coconut. A three pound. Uh, a three pound coconut. Oh, it's a travesty, a travesty. Goodbye. So what can you do about it? What? What? What can I do about it? What can I do about it? What can I do about it? What? What? Yes! You're Merlin the wizard, almighty and powerful. Magic the coconut. Summon one from thin air. Transmute her hands into coconut shells. Or better yet, teleport us directly to Africa and I'll pick one out on my own. What's the weather like this time of year? Oh, uh, 83 degrees Fahrenheit, my liege. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not exactly that kind of wizard. Who are there? What kind are you? A time wizard. Time wizard. Mm -hmm. So, so you can stop time? Not precisely, no. Move through time? In a manner of speaking, yes, I suppose so. What manner? Well, I, I progress through time uh, in a linear time, a linear manner relative to the, those around me. He ages, your highness. I will have you know that I have amassed a considerable amount of arcane training to reckon a specific date within a chronological system that is the most opportune for certain encounters within a renal year. Renal? That benefit the kingdom. Like when you helped my father sneak into a castle and lay with my mother and conceive me? The right time. And all those years you were raising me when I could have run over to that sword in the stone, yanked it out and ruled England, sparing myself all the poverty you forced me to live in? Not the right time. And what about when you told me to send 150 of my most loyal and bravest knights on the quest for the Holy Grail that only ended in death, dismemberment, and disappointment for everyone involved? Well, two out of five ain't bad. <clears throat> three. <clears throat> what? Three? Oh, yes. Two out of three ain't bad. Ah, well, you know what they say about broken clocks. No. Mm. So what exactly is your power? Well, <clears throat> in a coconut, I wait around for the right time. But anyone can do that. Not anyone. <laughs> my horse can do that. I'm certain I would make an error, my liege. <sighs> and why couldn't you tell me when the time was right to order more coconuts? I clearly remember advising you to invest in aviation, but nobody listens to Merlin. Ooh. They always listen to you. Yeah, what about the time I told you not to marry Guinevere? Mm? Yeah. She's the love of my life. And what about your sister? Let's not even go there. But don't bring my family into this. If you hadn't plucked me off my mother's breast and raised me as a beggar, that whole mordred thing never would have happened. If I hadn't plucked you off your mother's breast, you would have ended life as a one-foot ruler. Maybe I should throw you out the window and watch time fly. Oh, well, I thought I was waiting around for the golden age, but it turns out I guess it's middle age. You're useless. You're incompetent. You scam artist! Cuckold. May, may I make a suggestion? Hmm? We can just ignore. All right. Now, Merlin is a time wizard, yeah. right? Therefore, yeah. he knows when the time is right. Right. He knows when the time is right. 
and when the time is ripe. Now, hear, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. If he knows when the time is ripe, then he can apply inverse operations to the current weight and density of a fully ripe coconut to determine the size and stability of a coconut that's both light enough, young enough, and durable enough for the African swallow to survive the ocean passage fully intact. Hooray! Is that right? Would that work? Two. Uh, no, drop the two, carry the five. The three. And, hmm? Oh, the three, yes, uh, uh, carry the three. And uh, yes, I think she's right. We could order a coconut, uh, swallows rather, to bring a coconut here just in time for us to ride down to the shore and meet it. Ah, well, brilliant. Let us obtain the coconut. Away! Why are you just standing there? I said, away! Come, come, we don't have all day. We must ride to the shore to meet the swallow. Why the long face? Your Majesty, without the coconuts, Oh, fine. Use your hands, but just this once. Okay, great. Okay. Can she at least clap at different speeds? I mean, she sounds like a like a line of naked men sitting down on a bench. Oh, now she's just mocking us with the slow clap. <sighs> well, there is nothing to be done. Yeah, indeed. Your Majesty, hmm. we could wait for the coconut to come to us. We could? Yeah. We could wait around until the time is right. We could wait around for the ripe time. Yeah. Uh, Very well. Just let me know when it's time. Okay. Oh, okay. uh -huh. tell you how. <sighs> and someone bring me a pina colada uh, with a lime <laughs> and one of those little umbrellas. Brother bought a coconut, he bought it for a dime. Sister had another one, paid it for a lime. She put the lime in the coconut and drank them both up. She put the lime in the coconut and drank them both up. She put the lime in the coconut and drank them both up. She put the lime in the coconut. Is there something I can take? She said, Doctor, do you leave this belly ache? She put the lime in the coconut and drank them both up. One more time! She put the lime in the coconut and drank them both up. She put the lime in the coconut. Hmm. 